There is a hotel in Sweden that's completely made of ice and it was built by this guy. My name is uh, Ingve Bergqvist. Ingve is a guy who loves ice and who loves hotels. So he decided to make an ice hotel. He took ice from the nearby river, made giant bricks out of it and started building. He then invited artists from all over the world to design the place by carving the ice into crazy structures like this, this and this. But here's the crazy part. This hotel melts every summer because of the heat, which means that Ingva has to rebuild it every single year. That's crazy. Every year he sees his creation melts into the river. He waits for winter to come, gathers the blocks of ice again, and then with his team, they build it back from scratch. People don't love this place just because it's beautiful. People come here to get the best sleep ever. This is just surreal. Ingva and his hotel show us that maybe the best hotels are not the warmest ones, but the ones that make you feel warm deep inside. That's one minute. See you tomorrow. I came here to Switzerland just to show you that village over there because that village will blow your mind. This is Davos, the most powerful village in the world because every year 3,000 very smart people come here not to vacation but to work at the most famous conference in the world, the World Economic Forum. Welcome to the West! Prime Ministers. I'm the Prime Minister of Iraqi Kurdistan. Presidents. I'm a president of Armenia. Activists. This is what I am and I'm an activist. CEOs. I'm the CEO of YouTube. Entrepreneurs. We, we have, have a startup. startup. And even gurus and me come to discuss politics, social justice, climate change and education because everyone here has one goal. Make the world better. What happens in this village makes the world better. That's one minute. See you tomorrow. In Greece, there is a secret mountain made of life jackets. Tens of thousands of them hidden here. These jackets belonged to Syrian refugees who ran away from civil war on a dangerous boat trip. When they got to Europe, human rights organizations took their life jackets and put them here. Unfortunately, not all the refugees made it out alive. Thousands died at sea, leaving nothing behind but a life jacket. That's why more people should know about this secret mountain in Greece. It's the only thing we have to remember the dangerous life of a refugee. That's one minute. See you tomorrow. In Italy, I introduce you to the first underwater farm in the world. Here you can grow herbs, beans, strawberries, even tobaccos entirely under the ocean. Hi Nath Daily, I'm Federico. Federico and his team realized that as the population grows, there will not be enough land for agriculture. So they decided to grow plants underwater. They created huge transparent bubbles and anchored them 20 feet below the sea. Then they brought in the pot of plant and grew them like you would on land. And turns out it's much healthier to do it like this. There is zero pests, so no need of any chemicals. The temperature is always the same and you don't need to water the plants. This guy is not just growing food underwater, he is reimagining the way we live with nature. Nature. That's one minute. See you tomorrow. In the UK, there's a garden filled with poisonous plants. It's called the Alnwick Garden. Let us show you what's inside. This place has over 100 plants that made people all over the world lose their minds and sometimes die. Like this plant, it's called laurel, and it produces cyanide that was used as a chemical weapon in World War I. Or this plant, rhododendron. In some countries, they use the honey from this flower to make mad honey that will give you crazy hallucinations. This garden was made by the Duchess of Northumberland. She didn't want it to be just another garden. Instead, she wanted it to be a place where kids can go to learn about how dangerous drugs can be. So next time you see a shiny berry or a beautiful rose, remember the poison garden Alnwick because what's beautiful can also sometimes kill you. That's one minute. See you tomorrow. 
There is a town in Italy that will give you $30,000 just to open a business there. I kid you not. Hi, nice daily. Welcome to Calabria. This part of Italy has everything. Beautiful mountains, beaches, villages, but it doesn't have a lot of jobs. Hanno necessità di avere concretezza e possibilità lavorative diverse che spesso il nostro territorio non riesce ad offrire. That's why many young people left this town looking for other opportunities, leaving only old people behind. So the local government decided to pay young entrepreneurs from around the world $30,000 to come start their businesses right here and create jobs for everyone. So if you're under 40 years old and looking for something crazy to do, check this town in Italy and thank me later. That's one minute. See you tomorrow. In Estonia, there is an island that is entirely run by women. Here, the women do all the work, from cooking, to leading, to farming, to running businesses. Why? You see, for years, the men of the island had to go on long fishing journeys in order to make money, leaving the women behind to take care of everything. And they did take care of everything. But when globalization hit the island, the men lost their jobs and the women became the only businessmen. Or as we should say, business women. That is how this island now is run by women. Estonia shows us that women can do just as good as men, if not better. So the next time you feel like you cannot do something because it's a man's job or a woman's job, remember the island of women in Estonia. That's one minute. See you tomorrow.